Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now this, this is going to be a thread response to Rockboy680 who made a video a good few weeks ago now about albums which he wanted reissued on vinyl. Now it's sorry I have taken a bit of a while to like respond to this. I've simply not like had that much time like on my hands but like I've got a spare like afternoon today so I thought that I would um, like respond to his um, video. Viral Collector James has also made a response to this, so both of their videos will be linked in the description. So basically, this just concerns like albums like which we want to be reissued or like issued for the first time, like on vinyl. So I've um, decided to keep this one quite concise. Like I've chosen like five like specific albums which I personally would love to see and um, like vinyl reissues of. So yeah, the first one there, like as you see, is The Fireman and Rushes. Now, if you don't know, The Fireman is basically Paul McCartney. Like, it's like a side project, which he's done since, like, the mid-90s. Like, he's done three al three albums, like, under, like, The Fireman name. I've chosen Rushes, Rushes specifically because the first record, what they made, um, isn't all that great. It's basically just the same song, but just, like, remixed different versions of, versions of it. And, like, I've already got, like, Electric Arguments, which came out in 2008. That's a great album there, like if like you haven't heard it. But Rushes is one which I have um been really wanting to get like on vinyl, but it's just very, very difficult to find. Um find like I mean um I mean like it's one of the only McCartney Studio albums that which I still need to get like on vinyl, like the other being Run Devil Run. However, there is hope that it will be getting reissued because he's announced um four reissues um like on vinyl, like um on vinyl coming out in May. One of them is the Thrillington album, which is basically just like an orchestral version of Ram, which is quite a strange choice to the issue so that maybe gives hope that like some of like these more like obscure McCartney albums such as Feynman stuff and like his other classical work might be getting like vinyl reissues and um, like at the moment the cheapest the cheapest copy of this on Discogs is £150 so yeah Feynman Rushes is one which I would really love to get on vinyl. It's lit up in the stars that were true Next one is a Paul Weller album. I've chosen this one specifically, Illumination here, specifically because I don't own it. Like it's one of like, the only like solo records of his which I've yet to get like on vinyl. Um, but to be honest with you, like his whole discography could do with like reissuing because it's very difficult to get. Like I believe his first four were reissued a couple of years ago, but they were kind of ripping people off really about £35 for like a single vinyl. And um, yeah, like it wasn't really like affordable. So hopefully this one will be coming soon like along with like Heliocentric and Studio um, 150. Like at the moment its cheapest one on Discogs is £105. So yeah kind of out of like my price point. Really high, really high, like a really high thing. Next one I've chosen is by XTC and um, the album Apple Venus Volume 1. A lot of XTC's records are very difficult to find like even like some of like their classic ones that are from like the late 70s and early 80s I could get him like really hard to find again like the wild now but but I've chosen Apple Venus Volume 1 specifically because it came out in 1998 and like this was when vinyl was incredibly rare like all these records which I've chosen like kind of come from that kind of time like when like um like when like records and vinyl was pretty much like a dead format this record is one of XTC's best albums and like is quite annoying how it isn't more like easily like available cheapest one on Discogs is £87 so not ridiculous not like £100 plus this record but it's certainly like not one like what you can just like um, casually like go out and buy like you really need to sort of save up for this like if like you really want it but it is a brilliant record and like hopefully they do like an XTC box set or something and or, and, or something because their music really needs to to get a lot more like widely like available I think. You can walk right back where you started. And then the last two I've chosen are both um, Smiths related ones. First one is Johnny Moore and the Healers al album Boom Slang. Now I've got this on CD, but it is just a promo CD I've got because even the standard version of this like, on CD is really tricky to find. They find like on Amazon it's about £30 I think for just like a CD. So like, I found this one on like eBay, like it's just like a promo copy of it. And yeah, this was never issued on vinyl, so like it is one which I would love to get like, on vinyl because I've got Johnny Mars, I've got the two solo records, both of which are fantastic. 
This is may, this maybe like isn't quite as good. This was from um, 2003, but there are still some cracking tracks like on it. So I would love to see a vinyl um, issue of um, Boom Slang. And then my last choice for this video is Morris's album, You Are The Quarry, um, which I've chosen here. Now, a lot of Morris's records are very difficult to get, like stuff like Maladjusted, Southpaw Grammar, and um, a lot of them like, haven't been reissued. But this one specifically I've chosen is because it is actually one of his best albums, released, released in 2004. Like, it was somewhat like off like a comeback record for Morrissey. And, like, it was a um, really, really big, successful album. It had um, four UK top ten singles on it which for like someone like Morrissey like in 2004 was just like unthinkable like I believe like he was actually the most successful singles artist that year like in like the UK it was absolutely crazy um but this record here very difficult to find on vinyl cheapest one on Discogs here Discogs is £105 but like I'm sure like I've read at but like I'm sure I can see that the condition that like, wasn't all that brilliant on it. So like you're sort of talking like £150 plus for this record. Which for an album like as great as that, like has um, some of Morrissey's most popular songs in it, like it's really strange like how it hasn't been like reissued. The likelihood of seeing it though is pretty slim because Morrissey like he did like to change like record labels like quite often. So this one came out on a label called Attack Records, I think. Like I, like, I don't think it's ever been like reissued like on CD since. So like it is is um, quite unlikely that like, it will ever like see the light of day again on vinyl, which is a real shame because it is a great, great album there from Morrissey, um, and one which um, I would love a vinyl reissue of. Okay, so that's just been my um, quick response video to James. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video, yeah, and these are all records here which if they were I ever put out like on vinyl like again, um, like pre-order like I would pre-order them like straight away because the ones which are kind of missing from my collection and um, like they would help me complete like certain artists like and um, like such as like and um, like Paul McCartney like well up and that so like so like yeah like they are ones which I um, would really love to see and um, reissues of so thanks for starting the thread James and yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time for the next one goodbye okay.